Okay, right now we'll take our microgauge 2D system that I have uh, laid out on the table here and do a just a basic overview of how you'll uh, make a straightness check. Uh, granted, I'm only going over a few feet here, but uh, keep in mind that this laser will work uh, anywhere from 2 feet out to 150 feet uh, in distance. Um, so the basic components I have here are my microgauge laser sitting atop a rotational leveler mount. Again, this could be set on a four-axis stage, and it can also be mounted up on a tripod. I've got my receiver unit mounted on a magnetic mount uh, with the receiver unit held firmly on top, and then I'm connected up to my uh, display unit here, uh, giving us a vertical and horizontal reading. And um, what we'll do, basically, assuming that this was a real long rail, and we wanted to check to see uh, how straight it was. What you need to do is you need to measure at least two points along this rail, preferably a point up close and then one that's further back on the end of the rail. And the idea is going to be to adjust this laser beam so that it passes through this point and the back point in the same location in the horizontal axis. Okay, what that is going to tell me is now I have a straight line that's running down parallel to the surface that I'm trying to measure. Once I've got those two points equal, what I can do is set my display unit to zero, um, the zero function here, which will zero out my numbers, if I don't block the uh, display unit. Try that again. I zero out the numbers, and they will give me zero reading on there. And then I can move this receiver unit anywhere along the line and take measurements. And any deviation I have from zero in the horizontal axis will tell me how straight this particular surface is. Now if I wanted to, because this is a microgauge 2D system, I'm going to just take the zero off that, because of the 2D system it measures both horizontally and vertically at the same time. So if I wanted to check this rail for straightness, but I also wanted to see how flat it was, I could do that check at the same time. What I would need to do is to, to with my rotational mount, I would need to set the beam to be both the same here and in the back in the horizontal and vertical position so that they read the same. It doesn't have to read zero, it has to read the same. That way I now know that I have a line that's running not only parallel or straight along this surface, but it's also running flat or parallel over the surface of this, um, uh, of this particular part that, or rail that I'm trying to measure. Once I've got them both set, I can again zero my display unit, move my, display, move my receiver down the line. Any deviation I see horizontally uh, will tell me if I'm not straight in which direction. Also, if I have any vertical deviation, that will also tell me if this rail or this part is not uh, flat as well. So with the 2D system, you can check straightness and flatness at the same time uh, with doing a linear check. Now just back to my um, rotational mount. If we recall earlier that we've got a control here, this knob will set my beam left and right this way. So I can adjust this again so that it goes down this line and passes through both points so that they're the same. That's how I buck in the laser or set it up for doing straightness checks. Now underneath I've got controls under here that will allow me to change the pitch angle of the laser beam. So when I'm setting the vertical pitch of this I can use these knobs underneath to raise or lower the beam so that it passes straight through the two points. Okay, and then again, if we take a look quick right here, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and zero my readings at my first point. You can see I'm vertical and zero, very close to uh, zero in the vertical and horizontal position. I'll move my receiver unit back to the back edge of it, and we'll take a reading, and we'll see that I'm about two thousandths of an inch off in the horizontal position. So I'm very, very close to bucking this in. I would just need to make a minor adjustment on the front 
to swing the beam so that it's even on the front and on the back. And that's how I would do it to buck it in in the horizontal axis. If I wanted to do it the, this, I'm, I'm high, I'm, I'm high on this end here uh, by about 40 thousandths. So what I could do is lower the beam using these screws so that I have the same readings in the front and the back. So that's how we buck in the laser and using the 2D how we can make straightness and flatness checks with the system.